Good afternoon, everyone. Hope we're all okay. I'm just going to adjust this. There we go. Happy Tuesday, Monday, sorry. Happy Monday to us all. Just going to go on the Twitch. See who's on, if anybody's on already. Right, so I'll give everybody a few minutes. In the meantime, I shall post on my socials. Get the word about. Feel free to say hello, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, let me just check if anything's here. No, not yet, that's fine. Uh, nope, still no one in, that's fine. Everybody, oh, somebody in. Hello, wherever you are, come and say hello. Don't be shy. I'm just waiting for a few people to join and then I'll start getting crack, uh, cracking on with it. I wonder who's going to get on in here first. Is it going to be Josh or is it going to be Dave? Alright, just got to post in a few Facebook groups and then I can concentrate on the Twitch a bit more. Nobody's in yet. There's a few lurkers. Uh, nobody's chatting just yet. Josh is probably watching AW Revolution as we speak. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why are the other TEW groups on Facebook so annoying? I need to go on my groups, don't I? Where is it? Ah, I need to go on here. Oh, I'm talking to myself at this point. Sorry, everyone. Uh, groups. There you go. That's it. That'll be easier for me to find it now. Why is it only showing up four groups? Oh, that's really annoying. Right, I'll do. Hello, Josh. How is Revolution? Have you been watching it? Any good? It's okay, only okay. I've heard so many people say it's been like the best AEW show for a long time. Bloody hell, plus net the cheeky bastards, Josh. I've only just gone with them. For the broadband, and they've put me flipping broadband up by seven percent. Fucking wankers! To, sorry for swearing. To do with inflation. Oh, I try and save money, and I can't flipping win. Yeah, tell me about it. It does my editing. I left Sky because they were putting it up. They were putting my broadband up to 30 quid. I went with Plusnet because there was 25. And now it's going to be 28.99. I'm only saving a quid. What's the flipping point? I'm ringing up Plusnet after this. I'm going to give them a bollocking. I'm going to insist that I don't pay the extra. Because I've still got technically 30 days. I can leave. Go back to Sky. I've still got my route over Sky. I think they're all working together to screw us over. We don't save no money, no, no money, no more. Um, when Dave gets here, I'll start. If he does get here, I'll give, I'll give it, I'll give it like five, ten. I'll give it ten minutes and see if he turns up. It's just to do with the the price of inflation, isn't it? I don't know. I'll ring them up. I'm I'm hoping because I've only just signed up with them. In fact, shall I ring them up live while I'm on Twitch? <laughs> right, plus net. Ah, oh, no, I can't because I'd have to give out like personal details when I. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it. No, I can't, Josh. I would, but I'd have to say my address and my name and all that like over the phone. And I can't be bothered to to work out muting the software i'm using so i'll just do it when it finishes i'll let you know later so you only thought that revolution was okay have you watched it all elite standard 60 pound oh is that that iptv thing that you're on about i've got one now i've got one called iptv smart and that's pretty good um, it works out about, I think it's like about 11 quid a month, which ain't too bad. I've had no issues with it so far. David, David liked this service. There's, there's like this, there's 50, 50 adult channels, I'll call them 50 adult channels. So David would be a very happy man. Half of them are playing the same stuff as the other ones, but yeah. 
There's still 50 there, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm getting rid of Sky. Hey, up. <laughs> Josh, it's almost... It's like if you say his name three times, he comes along. <laughs> David's almost if you were there lurking, ready to bounce. Uh, yes, adult channels. Be careful what you say, young man, David. Um, yeah, I've got an IPTV service. And... I was just saying to Josh that you, Dave, would be very happy because there's about 50 adult channels on there. So, yeah. Not one called Twin Magic, though, unfortunately. Which has a whole new, mean, a whole new meaning with you. Hey, what's going on here? Ban him, Zona. He can't ban me. <laughs> I'll ban you if you carry on that, young man. Josh, ban him. I'm giving you the powers. Tell him. I'd love to see Josh try and tell somebody off. He seems he, he's just got the. I don't. I don't mean this in a in a, a gay way, but he's got like the most kindest face ever. He doesn't look like he's got it in him to tell anybody off. I don't mean that in a horrible way, Josh. It's not a bad thing. Right, you two are in here at the moment. I'm going to give it. Couple more minutes, and then I'll get cracking. I have pre-booked Raw, everybody, and I think I've done a really good job of it. So I think you'll be more than impressed. All the storylines, there's everybody in the storylines is in a match or something. I've done a few good angles, played to my strengths. So there you go. So we will see. Dave, did you watch, um, have you had a chance to watch AEW Revolution? I haven't watched it yet, but I know what happens. Josh says it's only okay. He's only watched a couple of matches. I think the other matches uh, are supposed to be really amazing. I was still working my way through the next, the last two weeks of AEW TV. I haven't had a chance to even do that. I've got two Dynamites and one Collision to watch. Um... For some reason, I've done it the wrong way. I meant to watch Diamond, Dynamite before Collision, but I've done it the wrong way. Are oh, you watched? What did you think of Revolution? Did you enjoy it? Oh, okay. That's in. That's a, that's weird because I I'm getting. A, I've had a lot of people say it's really really good. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the stupid bump that Darby Darby Allen took into the glass, and it was real glass as well. Oh no, Dave, are you ready? Josh has started a new FM so Go on then, Josh, tell us all about it. Oh, a two-player network game and you didn't think to invite me. Cheers, mate. Yeah, thanks. Didn't think to invite me and Dave. The amount of times I say to you, let's have a network game. Go on then. You've been asking me for ages. I mean, you sort of have. I'll, I'll let you off. I asked you for ages and ages and ages, and then I got a girlfriend, and now I'm like, I don't have the time. <laughs> you know what it's like there when you're in a relationship, especially at the start when you're when you when you're trying to make the effort. Um, I don't. I genuinely don't because, literally, my weekly routine is. Monday, Tuesday, daytime, I'm recording the videos for, for, for the whole week for YouTube. And then I'm streaming Monday and Tuesday here in the afternoon. And then on the evening, my partner's here. And then Wednesday, my partner works from home. So I can't, I can't, well, I can, I can do a network game on a Wednesday if you wanted to for a bit. Um, and then Thursday, I'm streaming. And then Friday, I usually just chill on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I can I can probably play you at some point, but I don't I just can't I can't like tell you when what days it just has to be a bit, but yeah. How can you not like Eddie Kingston, Josh? 
We're going to fall out at this point. Dave, do you want to be mod instead of Josh so you can ban Josh? He does not Eddie Kingston. How dare he? Eddie Kingston's the best promo in wrestling at the moment. Because I think the thing with Eddie Kingston is he's not the best wrestler in the world. I, don't, I, 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 I get that. And he doesn't have the best superstar look. But what he is, he's, he's authentic. He's really, he's, he says, he says, like, he, I'm trying to figure out, like, he's, to me, he's got that, like, uh, that, and he's, he's a tough guy as well. And he gives me that Stone Cold vibe. The only problem is, he's not as charismatic as Stone Cold. He's not as good, he's not as good as in the ring as Stone Cold. But he, he has that tough man that the fans want to get behind. Um, and he, t and he, and he tells it from the heart as well. I think that's why people like him. Each to their own, though, isn't it? As Joe, as Joe, as much as I'm joking with you, Josh. At the end of the day, we don't. Not everybody has to like the same people. I think the good thing about wrestling is there's, you know, other people that will, you know, you can you can like different wrestlers and still get on. Um, well. You're not going to be happy, Josh, either way, aren't you, in the Orange Cassidy versus Roddy Strong match? Uh, right then, you two. Are we ready for me to press continue? Dave, are you ready? Are you still with us? Yeah, but you can say that about you can say that about a lot of modern wrestlers that they've, they've got no personality. Their personality is they're a good wrestler. That's it. They don't need a personality. The days of every wrestler being a hundred percent charismatic are not there anymore. Because unfortunately, I don't mean this in a horrible way to young people, but if you you know most people under the age of thirty are just are just not very charismatic because they're regimented to like the same things. They're regimented. You see you see college kids these days, when I go past in the town centre, the college lads got the same hairstyles, they've got the same clothes, they've got the same trainers, they've got the same attitude. It's just everything's the same. It's just there's no individuality at all. Sorry for going off on an old man rant, but that's how, that's how I see it. But then I think everybody sees it when they get a certain age. They don't like... I think we all become grumpy old men when we hit a certain age. Yeah, to a point, obviously, I know what you're saying about, this, you know, you can't say what you want these days, but I, there, there is a reason for that because, unfortunately, there was idiots out there that were saying all sorts of offensive things that they shouldn't have been allowed to get away with, but they were because people were too nice, too too shy or too nice to say anything. So I do like the fact that young people call people out on shit now and they're not letting certain people in power get away with shit. So there is that, but it do, it, it, it goes one way and then goes the other and, and eventually it will it'll be something in the middle where it will be not as crazy as it has been, but it will still be better than it used to be. Yeah, let me know when you post it, Josh. Anyway, who are you managing on your uh, football manager save? Yeah, well, don't be too perfect because you won't. You'll be there all day. You'll never get it bloody posted. Ipswich. Okay, is the other guy Norwich by any chance? They're quite even this year, actually. Ah, oh, okay, Preston. Fair enough. I mean, he's already beaten you because he's got he's got. Um, Preston's got Idea, any who's absolutely brilliant on Football Manager. So you're fucked. Sorry for swearing. Former Norwich player. He's about eight foot tall. I mean, you're top of the championship. Okay, fair enough. Fair play. Who am I to judge? You always thrash me when I used to play you anyway. Right. I'm cracking on with this now then, lads. Depends who you're managing, isn't it? Oh, he's bad at FM. Oh, okay. Well, when do you when do you play it? Do you play it on the evenings? I have pre-booked the one show, Dave, but don't get too excited. I haven't pre-booked them all. But it didn't take me long to book Raw 
because I'm getting into a groove now. So hopefully SmackDown, if what I need, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just won't be in the chat for a few minutes while I book it, and then I'll come back, and then you can tell me if there's anything that you want me to change. That's probably the quickest way to do it instead of me keep coming back to the chat every five seconds. Josh, when do you play your um, football manager save? Maybe me and Dave can play you at some point. You and your mate. We can do a four-person. Four Dave can get the Twins involved. The Twins can pick a team each as well. Right, in about two minutes, I'll, as soon as you reply, Josh, I'll get started with the show. So hurry up and reply, you git. <laughs> Actually, let me just quickly check my Twitter and that, see if anybody's replied to the posts. No, none on Twitter. Anybody on the Facebook? No, that's sad. That makes me sad. I've got a new subscriber to my uh, YouTube channel today, so that's good. Happy days. I said, what, when do you usually play your network game on Football Manager, um, Josh? I was, I was saying maybe uh, maybe me and Dave could join you at some point if Dave wants to play, or I'll join. Well, as long as it's not... I mean, the thing is, I, I, I record videos Monday and Tuesday because I like to get my YouTube stuff out of the way. So when do you usually play? Every morning, or is it certain mornings in the week? Is that every day? All right, and fair enough. Well, when you want to start another network game, let me know and I'll see if I can commit to something. It's just like I said, my time is very limited at the moment because of the one thing or the other. I don't like this cable being here. And I feel like my mic's going to turn off at any point now. Let me just check. No, that's right, my mic's all right. Let me know if my mic goes off, people, because I've just moved. Uh, I could do, couldn't I? Yeah, that's an idea. Maybe. Um, well, yeah, we could do a separate network game. Dave, would you like to be involved in the network game? Can you commit every Friday or most Fridays? Would you like to join us? I don't really want to take on Josh on his own. He's too good. He beats me every time. Nah, that's fine. But you can always watch me and Josh. Josh, would your friend want to join in? Oh, yeah, twins are all right. No one likes to show off, Dave. Uh, <laughs> you like to listen. I bet you do, pervert. <laughs> Dave, I hope you know I'm just joking. I hope you can just take. I hope you can take the banter, and it's not too much. I don't want to. I don't want to make. I don't want to piss you off, mate. Right, I'm going to start, I'm going to run this show now because we're coming up to literally 23 minutes and I haven't done anything yet. So let's get cracking. Because um, I'm only here till four o'clock because I've got other stuff. I've got to put a wash on before my partner gets back. Right, so I'm going to quickly start this so you can't see. There you go. Right, can you see everything? Yes, you can. Right, you ready? So, I started the show with John Cena. Doing a promo that got interrupted by Sheamus. That got a 99 rating. They had a match. Got an 81 rating. John Cena defeated Sheamus in 20 minutes. Um, I keep forgetting to take Nikki Cross. I keep. I need to turn Nikki Cross. Hold on. I'm going to do an angle. I'm going to fit an angle in. Bear with us. Nikki Cross. Fighting. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. Liv Morgan. That'll do. Seven. Nikki Cross. Attacks. Live. Right, we're just doing this on the basis of just trying to turn Nikki Cross so it doesn't get confusing with her managing Sheamus. Right, continue show. Yay, the heel turn was a complete success and got a 76 rating. There we go. Right. Let me just check the chat so I ain't missing anything. 
Yeah. What's this? Oh. Hold on, I've got a I've got a message. Bear with us. Right, sorry. I had a a personal message on Twitch off somebody I don't recognise. Ninety two, there you go. So that promo, see, Corbin means money. Happy Corbin was superb working without a script. See, this man can do no wrong. And then I did a tag match with Happy Corbin and Seth Rollins. They defeated the Gorillas of Destiny when Happy Corbin pinned Tamatonga. Um, the storylines have been advanced. We've got an 82 rating for that. We did a tag match with Bron Breaker and Randy Orton defeating Walter and Damien Priest. So basically two storylines, I've, I've just put them I just put them together, but I didn't put Batista into it because Batista is rubbish. So uh, Bron Breaker and Randy Orton have absolutely zero chemistry. Ah, that's a, that's a bad one. Right, we did an angle afterwards where um, Judgment Day attacked Randy Orton. Um, didn't go down too well because the Damien Priest isn't very good at fighting by the, par uh, by the looks of it. I should have checked before I did the angle. Uh, I did an angle where Ronda Rousey and Rhea Ripley attack AJ Lee and Becky Lynch before their match. And they did a tag team match, got an 87 rating, and Ronda and Rhea be, uh, defeated AJ and Becky Lee. Becky Lee? Becky Lynch, I apologise. Becky Lee sounds like a bloody country music singing star. Uh, we did a promo with CM Punk and Okada for their match against Drew and Nakamura. I didn't have Okada do anything, so he was just in the background. I got CM Punk to do all the work in the promo. Got a 92 rating. Uh, the match, the tag match got an 86 rating. CM Punk and Okada won. CM Punk submitted Nakamura. And that was the main event. And we got an 89 rating. I don't know if 89... Is 89 the best one we've done? A Carter, yeah. I think we got 91, didn't we? But it's still a good show. Hello, Bazinga. Nice to see you. Hope you're okay. How's everything with you, mate? How are you getting on? Are you okay? Who are you managing on FM then? By the way... I watched um, The Expendables um, 4 yesterday. I can't say I was impressed. I was annoyed that they got rid of St Sly Stallone's character at the start, only to, to bring him back at the end. What is the point in that? No, he doesn't, Josh. No, that is not even, that's not possible. There's no, there's no way anybody can change their team uh, more than you. Josh, you've changed you've changed teams in like in the twice in the space of a day.
Sorry, I'm just having a conversation on Twitch with somebody. Sorry. Sunderland's a good save, actually, because Chris Riggs, apparently, the new Paul Gascoigne. Um, so, and they've got some, they've got Yobe Bellingham as well. They've got a good young team coming through, to be honest. I've, uh, I've started a new save on Football Manager. Um, I'll give you a few guesses on who it is. Let me know. If you want some clues, I can give you some gradual clues. Um, we signed Yuka Sakazari from AEW. Uh, have we gone for Rio? Oh no, we couldn't go for her because she only wanted to join for nine months, so we'll just leave that. Paul Turner, I'm not going to bother with Paul Turner. Right, let's forward that. Yeah, she was, um, who am I now? Have a guess, Josh. Have a guess. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a first clue. It's not a team in England or Scotland or Ireland or Wales. There you go. And you know me quite well, Josh. You know what leagues I like playing in. Ah, oh, on the game, Mandy Leon and Delirious are split up. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, Tony Nice. Should we bring Tony Nice back to WWE as a jobber? Because he's not gonna exactly going to do well here. All right, Tony Nice. I just want to steal all their wrestlers. This is a surprise. Finally started a save with PSV. Did you already quit the save? Right, we've signed Tony Nice. That was quick. We've signed Tony Nice. Not that we're going to do anything with him, but yeah. Why would we sign him? Just to, just to pee off Tony Khan. That's the only reason. Sorry lads, I'm just trying to be polite and tell this guy to bugger off basically. He reckons he can help me be a better Twitch um, person. So I think he's just trying to trying to con me in some way or trying to, I don't know, think he's going to make some money or something. Um, right, are we on Smackdown yet? There we go, Smackdown. Smackdown. Right, just give me a few minutes then, lads. I'm going to have a look at the storyline. I'm going to book some matches, book some angles to go with it.
Uh, I'm adding a new member to the Kabuki Warriors. I'm adding uh, Suzuki. Oh, Dakota Kai's not in there for some reason. I don't know why, but I've added her now as well. Right, Yuka is in it as well. So there you go. Two new members, even though one was already supposed to be in there. Oh, I know why, because Dakota Kai is a baby face. Uh, roster. Why can't it let me? Oh, hold on. We'll do that. Right, I can concentrate on you lot now and doing that. Um, how, are you, how are you getting on with your with your football manager saves? You three, tell me, tell me what's going on. Tell me who you've signed. So then, when I can have a look back in a sec, I can. Uh, and if you want to all take a guess of the, the the team I'm managing, I am managing a French team. I'm managing managing a French team. Right, let me check the chat. Right. Uh, no, not Bordeaux, not Lyon, not Strasbourg, not Saint Etienne, or Nice. If if you put Nice or Nice, I don't know if you put Nice. I don't know if that was Nice or Nice, but anyway. Which division? Well, it's not the top division, so that makes it a little bit easier. It's not the top French division. So that's your next clue. Right, let's see what other storylines I've got going on here. Uh, right, storylines. Bailey, done that. Bianca, done that. Bloodline versus Cody Rose. I've only got three storylines for SmackDown. After this show, I'm going to have to do some uh, one or two more storylines, I think. Uh, I'm just trying to think who to... Oh, I'll put Bobby Lashley in there.
Right, let's have a few of it. No. They're all wrong. Keep going. That's all my storylines done for SmackDown now, so I'm basically just going to fill it up. Right, let's have a look. This should be pretty easy. I've just got to put the matches and then do the angles for it. We'll do a female match. Charlotte. Versus Peyton Royce, maybe. Charlotte Flair victory. Do Peyton Royce promo. Charlotte's pretty good on there as well. And then we'll just put BDK in the background. Right, let me just check the chat. I oh, know, no more. No more guesses? Come on, one of you will get it. They are in League... They're in League 2. L-I-G... L-I-Q-U-E. League. League 2. League 2. I'll give you another clue. No, not Paris FC. Not Dunkirk. I'll give you another clue. They are a team beginning with a letter in the first seven letters of the alphabet. So that, that makes it a little bit easier. No, not Angus, not Augsir. It's not an obvious team either. I will explain the reason why I've gone for that team afterwards. Right, we need to book another match. AJ Styles. Versus... Carmella Hayes. We'll do... AJ had a win, but we will open match. Well, oh no, I don't do that. I remember last time. Right, there we go. Uh, 112 minutes. I need to book a bit more, I think. I need to do another angle, I think. Angle, AJ Styles, microphone. Oh no, we'll do AJ Styles attacking Carmella after. Right, let me just check the chat. Yeah, Grenoble, there you go. Well done. No, it was nothing to do with Andre the Giant, but that is the that is um a decent observation. But the reason why I went with Grenoble is I was looking for a French team that had a few uh players playing for the Gambian national team, and Grenoble was the one they had two or three players from Gambia. Because I've done it as a joint save as Grenoble and the Gambian national team, and I did my first season, and I managed to get promoted really to the league league one with Grenoble. Uh, only just started season two, doing all right with Gambia as well. So quite enjoying it to be honest. It's keeping me engrossed, which is good. The one thing I've definitely done is take a, is started the save without use of the in-game editor because the in-game editor for me has ruined it for me because. Whenever something doesn't go my way, I'll just edit. I'll just, in in other saves, not my saves I'm doing for, uh, for content creation, by the way, but offline saves, I just end up ruining it because I'll just go, oh, I edit and I'll just sign this player instead. 
So it kind of takes the joy out of it, makes it eat too easy. Right, uh, 120 minutes, so there you go. Right, I'm ready to go, everyone. So let's get cracking. So uh, 88 match ratings, so that's good. Carmela Hayes got a 71 rating, AJ got an 89. Good match to start the show. Uh, Carmela underperformed. So the angle didn't go down very well. Uh, we did an angle that was relatively good. Peyton Royce impressed, got a 71 rating. And then Charlotte defeated Peyton Royce, got a 77 rating. We did an angle with um, Bailey basically doing a promo against. Oh, no, we didn't. What am I on about? Um. Hold on a second. Wasn't I supposed to do... Didn't I turn... Oh, hold on. I'll leave it a sec. So that angle got a 50 rating, so that didn't go well. A little more star power. I didn't like Dakota Kai being in there. Match, it got uh, the 5 versus 5 match with ba Bailey, Bianca, Jade, Selena and Naomi versus the Kabuki Warriors. Got a 79 rating. Um... The good guys won when Bailey pinned uh, the debut in Yuka Sakazawi. Uh, how did Yuka do? Yuka got a 54 rating, so I'm going to have to send her to uh, I'm gonna send her to AEW after this, I think. Send her to AEW. Say it's, send her to NXT. So you are Gambia too. Yeah, so basically I'm a joint manager of... Grenoble and Gambia. Uh, I have uh, without looking. Um, I don't know. I know. I'm, I know. I'm doing all right in the World Cup qualification so far. I lost the first game, and then I've won a few. Um, but doing all right. I managed to call up. Oh, I can't remember his name. Yuri Garcia or Yuri somebody. Yuri, like a Spanish sounding name. Managed to call him up to Gambia. Managed to convince him to join. Yeah, there's the, the problem is now that the, the the data updates come out for the winter updates come out, all the extra data files that I've got for different countries they no longer work. So I've got to wait for all the people doing them to update it for the new the new patch now, which is really annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna send um, I'm gonna send Saka Yakasaki whatever her name is to NXT for a bit. Anyway, we had a promo, got 98 rating, so that's good. Um, and then we did a match with Bobby, Lashley and Cody defeating Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso Cody winning with the uh, pinning Roman Reigns with the beautiful disaster uh, Jimmy Uso suffered a floating bone chips injury that sounds painful the match the, the injury affected the match the match would have got a high rain Oh, here you go. Cody Rhodes and Bobby Lashley show great, chem excellent chemistry together. So, you know we're going to have to form a new tag team after this. Bobby Lashley got heat backstage for the in injury in Jimmy Uso. We've got an 85 rating for this show. So, we're doing well now. Consistently booking. I'm ignoring that comment, Dave. Thank you, Josh. Much appreciated. I did manage to convince that guy who was trying to uh, get me to um, have his services. I managed to uh, convince him to at least follow me on here. So I've got a new follower. I've got 43 followers now. I'm seven followers away, everyone, from possibly getting monetized. Thank you. Yes, I am getting quicker. So, hold on. I'm just trying to fix my webcam. Over. Oh, God, sorry. That's a terrible angle that you can see there. I apologize for that. Hold on. You say this, Josh. You say this, Josh. But today I was feeling a bit burnt out playing TTW, actually. <laughs> or just wrestling games in general. <laughs> but I will... I'm fine. I'm joking. I'm all right. I just was like, oh, 
you know when you just can't be bothered to do anything i just i was like that today and i've had to do oh sorry i st- this could be a very big signing for us if we manage to bring him in. Orange Cassidy. Oh, no. He, damn it. He doesn't want to come to us. Can I get him on a written contract, maybe? Oh. Can I get him on a per opinion, a handshake deal, maybe? No. Oh, well done. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. That one. Oh, for God's sake, we can't sign Orange Cassidy. I'm so annoyed right now. Uh, let's see how much his loyalty can be. Let's see how much his loyalty can be. We do two more zeros. Oh, damn it. It won't let me. Oh, we can't sign Orange Cassidy, everyone. We can sign Xavier, Excalibur, though. Hopefully, maybe. Probably not. No, 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 we can't sign him. Doesn't even want to talk to us. Uh, the Rock has an opinion. Peyton Royce is too small. You should release the kid and find someone better. Screw you, Rock. Uh, Jimmy Uso is injured. Right, let me just go to the medical. Let me just see if I can... No. So we've got Jimmy Uso is out for 47 days. Uh, Mickey James out for 8 days Pete Dunn's out for 11 days and Shayna Baez is out for 16 days so we've got we've got fast lane tomorrow night everybody uh, where's Bobby Lashley I need to I need to cheer up Bobby Lashley he's got no he's not who's, who's not yeah morale issues oh there we go right give a bonus Zero, zero. Everybody's happy again, right. Let's see if anybody else is unhappy. Nope. Right, back to the Twitch chat, everyone. Sorry. Yeah, I pre-booked um, fast lane as well, so it'll be a lot e- quicker. Oh, well, you couldn't see it on the screen, could you? Orange Cassidy's loyal to AEW won't come to us. Which is rather annoying. I tried everything. I tried to sign him on a written contract. He wouldn't do it. I tried to sign him on a handshake deal. He wouldn't do it. He's, he's very loyal to AEW. So, fair play to him. Right. Fast lane is upon us. Um, we've got quite a bit of pre booked stuff here. So let's get started with that. You just leave me to it for a few. Oh, no, let me answer the chat first. Oh, no, I thought something new happened there. Uh, if there's anybody else in the Twitch chat, feel free to say hello. I think Bazinga's gone. If he's still there, Bazinga, come and say hello. Tell us what's going on with your love life. Have you got anybody new in your life? Um, right, let's have a look at the... Where's the pre-booking here? It's here somewhere. There we go, pre-booking. So, uh, add to booking sheet. Uh, add to booking sheet. Add to booking sheet. Hold on, I've got a text message. Bear with us. Right. Um, uh, that's a booking sheet. Add to booking sheet. Add to booking sheet. Oh yeah, Shayna Baszler can't wrestle on this one. Uh, need another heel. Sonia. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ronda Rousey used. Oh, balls. Well, we'll just leave it as that. Book it. Right. Let me just check the chat first. Oh, nothing new. It's alright. I thought somebody messaged in the chat. Um, Alright, let me just check the booking analysis. Why is Kofi Kingston not happy? Oh well, Kofi, you'll just have to get over it. Uh, I'm not going to bother with any angles, I don't think. No. Right, you ready, everyone? Oh, hold on. I need to... I need to sort out the order of how I'm going to do this. Actually, I will do an angle with Cody Rhodes. Because that will boost, that will make the rating better. Anybody posting? Yeah, just bear with us. I just, I just, I might just add a couple more. I might just add one more promo. Happy Corbin promo. It's got to be done in it. Right. I feel like that's the right way of doing it. Um, so let's crack on everybody. Mortal defeated Kofi Kingston. He's made number three of his Intercontinental title. Got an 86 rating. Uh, the match deserved better colour commentary apparently. So basically I just did like a massive scramble match. For the uh, women's scramble match. Oh for God's sake. Ronda Rousey sustained a burnt out, whatever that means. They're, sh they're uh, shitting on the colour commentary on this today. Hold on then. Oh, I'll leave it. Um, oh, it was elimination. It was an elimination match, wasn't it? What am I on about? Oh, I don't even know what I booked now. I think it was a scramble match. Yeah, Ronda Rousey won basically, because she probably kicked, she kicked off because I originally was going to have uh, Becky Lynch. Nikki Cross has got a lot of heat backstage because um, she botched a move that injured Becky Lynch. Happy Corbin got an 85 rating for his promo. And uh, the match got an 82 rating. I forgot, uh, I don't think Punk's on this one. I didn't bother. I just wanted to do some crazy ass matches, different matches that weren't uh, involved in much the current storylines, basically. Um, so yeah, I can do. A, I can do actually. I can, I'll, I'll add a CM Punk promo. Oh, I didn't click. I clicked on the thing. I didn't know what happened. Anyway, right. CM Punk microphone. Drew McIntyre, microphone. Right. Josh, is there any, who won that tag match, by the way? Can you tell me? Because I clicked off it and it won't let me go back on it. Do you know? I assume it's... um. Oh, I know who it is. It's Alpha Academy because I met, I I booked them to win. Sorry. Do you know? Do you know what the rating? Oh, you missed it. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. I'll have a look after the show. Right, let's go back to the show. Um, we did a promo segment. We've got a ninety rating, and then we had AJ Styles losing to Andrade. Got an eighty nine rating. AJ and Andrade have okay. So I'm going to do a. I think I'm going to do a storyline with AJ Styles and Andrade. 
I think they them two could be a good feud for SmackDown, and I need another feud for SmackDown. Uh, oh, apparently Cody Rhodes struggled when he went off script, but still got a ninety-seven rating, so can't complain too much. I actually, I just want to see if Cody Rhodes could have a good match with Logan Paul. So this is why I've done this. Um, Cody Rhodes wins the United States title. Cody Rhodes seemed off his game. Hmm. Okay. Right, an 85 rating. There we go. Happy days. Eighty-three rated. Oh, okay, cool. Doing alright today, Dave. We're getting these shows done quickly, aren't we? We've still got an hour left as well. You never know, we might be able to get as quickly as possible to WrestleMania before you know it. Will Ospreay apparently has been loaned to RevPro from AEW. Oh, from New Japan, sorry. Uh, Happy Corbin has an opinion. I'm liking what I hear from Rhea Ripley. There's money in this kid promos if you give an airtime. There you go. Brom, um, Happy Corbin knows what's going on. Uh, Fast Lane got 20 and a half million which is usually what we're getting at the moment so that's good how long is ronda rousey out for ronda rousey is out for 19 days which makes it very difficult now we've got Shayna baszler and ronda rousey out for the next 19 days bearing in mind wrestlemania night one is in 19 days so I'm gonna I'm hoping that there's no other injuries. So it looks like we're gonna to have to be doing AJ Lee versus Zoe Stark and Sonya Deville for a bit, I think. Let's just check the four horsewomen. I think that's who's in it. Yeah, Zoe Stark and Shane Bay uh, Sonya Deville. Um Yeah, storylines, right. Let me just add the AJ Styles versus Andrade storyline. This is Andrade. Right, we got Raw now. Yeah, we can see your messages, Dave. I don't know what happened there then. I haven't blocked you though. Not knowingly. Maybe Josh has blocked you without me knowing. <laughs> right, Raw. Let's have a look at the Raw storylines again. Oh, I need to alter that for two seconds. Right, so... We've got AJ Lee, so there we go. So this will be the easiest one to do. Start the show. AJ Lee versus Sonya. AJ Lee win. And storyline. Uh, we'll do an angle. AJ Lee. Advance the storyline. Uh, I'm just going to put Rhea Ripley in the match. And I'm going to get her to do a promo first. So we'll do Rhea Ripley versus Lib Morgan. Microphone. Add the match. Women's Rhea Ripley. We'll do a domination, dominated, dominant win. All right, there we go. Uh, we'll do a Becky Lynch match now. We'll do a promo with her. 
Who who are we gonna have her against? Uh Natalia. We did Natalia. Oh no, right. Chelsea Green, what am I about? This is a ladies' night tonight, lads. We'll get some women's matches on the go. Right, let me just check the chat first. Hello, hello, uh, Ryan. Did you end up watching the AW Revolution pay per view? I haven't uh, yet. I've got two weeks of AEW TV that I'm currently working my way through. I know what happens though, so feel free to talk about it. Josh, um, my, a few people in the chat have watched it or are, are literally watching it as we speak. What did you think of it, Ryan? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy AEW Revolution? I've heard a lot of good things about it. Sorry, I'm quiet, sorry. Josh, you can't say no bloody spoilers just because you haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. No, I'm joking, I'm only joking. Yeah, I think I think a lot of us are sad that's that Sting's gone, but I think at the end of the day it was a perfect way to s I mean, non spoilers here, Josh. It was a perfect way to um close the chapter on his career, I think. But yeah, how many how many out of ten would you give the whole AEW Revolution show then, uh, Ryan? Would you highly recommend it to Josh? Uh, Zona Mister FM, sorry, I keep forgetting not I keep forgetting not, not everybody knows your name is Josh. Josh. <laughs> right, let me carry on booking this while you two talk. Um, right, let me have a look at the storylines. I keep forgetting. All right, storylines. Bron and Walter, uh, so we could do Bron and Walter uh, and Happy Corbin and Seth Rollins, maybe four way match. Yeah, I'll do that. Happy Corbin, Seth Rollins, Walter, Bron Breaker. Actually, no, I can't do this much because there's two champions in there. Uh, let me think. I'll do Happy Corbin. Let's see who else we've got in here. Uh, Nakamura. I do Happy Corbin, Nakamura. Okada. And Walter. Just for the sake of it. Oh no, we can't do Walt with his continental champ. Uh Finn Balor. Yes, I am having Happy Corbin win in the match with Okada in it. Right, let's check the chat. Eight out of uh, that's good then. The only matches didn't care. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't care about the scramble match. To be honest, it was we were promised a big meaty man match, and we got Chris Jericho, which nobody wants anymore. Nobody wants Chris Jericho. Where are you from then, Ryan? How old are you? What do you do for a living? 
Tell us a bit about yourself if you if you want. Who's your favourite wrestlers? Thank you for joining the chat. I always appreciate new people in here. Gives uh, Josh and Dave a break from talking to me. So um, I do appreciate it, my friend. Right. Um... Let me just double check. I need to do a promo first. So do Happy Corbin. Microphone. I don't bother with a carder. Or since. There we go. Uh, breaker. CM Punk versus Black Cardona. And then we will do an angle where Drew attacks CM Punk after the match. Right, I'm ready to go, everyone. That's raw booked. So I'll go for it in a sec. Let me just catch up with the chat. Ah, you're from New Jersey. New York, sorry. New York. Want some coffee? See, I could I could make it in New York. I could. I'd be all right. Oh, that's a rewarding job that you do. Fair play to you, uh, Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you've been having some uh, medical stuff at the moment. Yeah, I hope you get back to work soon, buddy. But in the meantime, feel free to join in with us. We're a small community, but we work well. Ah, uh, I don't know how the Buffalo accent goes. I'll have to try and research it next time. Um, but yeah, Ryan, we're usually on here... Um, 2 p.m. UK time. So I think we're I think we're either five hours ahead of you or five hours behind. What time is it in? What time is it around uh, where you live at the moment? Right, I'll start the show in a sec. I'll uh, right, I'll start the show now. But I will answer you in a second, Ryan. Don't worry. Um, CM Punk defeated Matt Cadona, got an 80 rating. Um, we did an angle afterwards where. Drew attacked CM Punk. And then um, I, I stupidly did this angle. I meant to do it before the match, so we'll just ignore this. Uh, 84 rating for the promo battle with Baron Corbin. And then Baron Corbin won. Happy Corbin, sorry. Uh, Pin Nakamura got 89 rating. Um, and we had Alpha Academy, the other the other people I'm pushing at the moment with Otis. Otis pinned uh, Da Vinci, got an 82 rating. Otis, oh no, the big guy's got a fractured wrist. We're getting a lot of injuries in the last two shows. Uh, Kaiser was the one to blame. He's got backstage heat because of it. Uh, we've got an 86 rated uh, for the angle with Becky Lynch and Chelsea Green. Let me just check the chat. Oh, five hours. Oh, okay, cool. So it's in the morning there. So, yeah, so if you ever get bored, I do... Um, I Twitch Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But sometimes that changes. Um, Ryan, can you do me a favour, if you haven't already? Can you follow me on on here? So then that way you'll get like, emails come up when I'm online. Make it easier for you. And also I get an extra follower. I'm not going to lie. I, I would appreciate it. Yeah, Dion is a good wrestler. Oh, I'm so jealous you get to go to Dynamite. The one in when they usually do a good show in Toronto, don't they? 
And you got you got Adam Copeland and Christian Cage, so I think they'll do something with them. Maybe Kenny Omega will probably come in for a promo. He won't be able to wrestle, but I'm very jealous. We only get like one AEW show a year, and that's the big pay per view, which I I'm not going to Wembley Stadium with all them people. Uh, right, let's carry on with the show. Um, Becky Lynch defeated Chelsea Green, got a 78 rating. Did an angle with Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, only got a 62 rating, unfortunately. Uh, the match only got a 66 rating. The match was too short. It was 20 minutes. Oh, it wasn't. It was 9 minutes. Oh, I balls up there. I meant to do 20 minutes, but I didn't do it properly. Hold on. Let me just check that I've done the other matches okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, we did an angle with AJ Lee and Sonya Deville. Uh, AJ doesn't do well when she hasn't got a script, though. And then the match got a 70 rating. This Raw isn't going to get rated very well, I think. I didn't. I don't think I did very well with this one. Oh, we got an 83 rating. It's not too bad. It increased our popularity. Yeah, I was very lucky to see Shawn Michaels in a UK WWE show. Literally, the it was like just before he retired. He was in a tag match with Triple H and um, went against Randy Orton and Edge. So I got to touch Shawn Michaels' nipple. I went to high five him. He moved. I stroked his nipple by accident. I will take it. So yeah. But yeah, I appreciate you joining, Ryan. If you know anybody else that would be interested in talking about wrestling that might want to join or like watching TEW content, um, but thank you for giving me a follow. I've just checked. Thank you, Ryan. Much appreciated. I don't know what you're laughing at, Josh. We'd all touch Shawn Michaels' nipple if we'd get away with it. Right, Jamie Noble. Uh, we've signed Lance Archer. As you know, he gets to we get to debut him at some point. Uh, according to Jamie Noble, Rhea Ripley is clumsy. Oh, for God's sake. Otis is injured. Right, let's have a look see how long Otis is out for. I feel like getting rid of Jamie Noble. I'm going to get rid of Jamie Noble. How dare he say anything bad about my future ex-wife, Rhea Ripley. You are out of here, Jamie Noble. Yep, you're gone. Right, let's see how long. Uh, Otis is out for six days. That's all right. He'll be back soon. Kofi Kingston needs cheering up, so I'm going to give him a nice little bonus to, shut, to stop him moaning. That still hasn't worked. I've got to give him another one. There we go. He's happy. Oh, Ludwig Kaiser's not happy. I've got to give him a little bonus. Little backhander. Oh, Otis has got morale issues. Why has Otis got morale? Oh, angry at the injury. Yeah, okay. I'll give you a week off, pay time off. Is that going to cheer you up? No. Okay, I'm going to give you a bonus. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a bonus. There you go. Happy days. Right. Everybody seems happy now. Right, so we've got SmackDown in three days. So we'll just keep forwarding it to them. Let me just check the chat. I've seen, um, I saw Shawn Michaels in 94, 2008, and I think one, one other time, but I can't remember now. So I'm very lucky that I got to see him a couple of times. Yeah, AEW definitely ha is doing a lot better this year than they were last year. Yeah, with the creative though, it can't be helped with these injuries. It kind of ruins all the plans that they had. They've just got to make sure that um, Swerve doesn't get injured and he needs to be the one that beats Samoa Joe. Uh, I don't know how long MJF's injured for, but he's probably injured for a while. It's for the rest of the year, probably. And I think Adam Cole's still not ready, so maybe they could do Wardlow versus Samoa Joe at some point. Then maybe Roderick, Roderick Strong and then and then against Samoa Joe. 
and then they might they might they might go to Adam Cole versus Samoa Joe then. So that's like that's like three or four months of booking they can do with with Samoa Joe versus the Undisputed Kingdom. It's one way they can go, and then eventually just gradually push Swerve to the point where he wins the title. Uh, nice. Yeah, I'm like that. So, basically, I used to go and watch um, a promotion in the UK called Fight Club Pro, and... Um, they got a couple of local wrestlers called uh, Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate, who you all know in WWE. So I always root for them because I used to watch them. Um, Ruby Soho was another one who, when she was at Shakara, she went to a, this Shakara show I went to. And she, I met her and she was really nice. So I've met a lot of wrestlers. They've all been mostly very nice to me. So the ones like that, I always want them to do well. Uh Right, let's book SmackDown. We'll do AJ versus Andrade again because they had a hell of a good match last time. We'll do AJ Styles to win this one so it makes it one apiece. Uh... Do AJ Styles microphone Andrade microphone All right, so that's that bit done. Then we'll go that. No. Yeah. All right. Let me just check the chat so you don't. So I'm not neglecting anybody. It's T two C W yeah yeah because um yeah Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are like Canadian gods aren't they they just they can't do no wrong in Canada ah oh, Buddy Ray seems like a biggest idiot ever doesn't he he just seems like a horrible person I don't know how he managed to get um um and no no uh, uh, Velvet Sky I don't know how he managed to pull her um he's a very lucky man. Right, storylines, let's have a quick look. Smackdown, Smackdown, Smackdown. So what we could do is we could do IO Sky versus Bianca, I think, would be the way to go. We'll have IO Sky win. Why is Bianca Belair furious? Doesn't make sense. Um, we'll do Bianca Belair, microphone, IO Sky for the match. And then we'll just put. Huh? Why has that not done it? Io Sky versus Bianca Belair. Hold on, what's going on here? Bianca Belair, microphone. Io Sky, not rated. There we go. Right, let me check the chat now. I'm one of the rare people to have a good experience with CM Punk. Many, many years ago, when he was in a UK show before he went to WWE, he was really nice. Yeah, RIP Brody Lee, we will be missed. Him and Bray Wyatt, just, them deaths just shocked, shocked people because it just, I think they're both COVID related as well. Either they've got COVID and it was the after effects of COVID, but 
alleged. I don't know, but that's what I've heard. Allegedly, it's so horrible though that they died so young. Um. Right. Let me figure out. Right. J. Cog. No. Um. Bailey versus Oscar. I think next match I'll do. Right, and then we'll do a beat down afterwards with Io Sky, Oscar, Kari, and then we'll just have Bailey selling. Right, um, where am I? How far into it am I? Okay, 91 minutes, okay. Right, let me have a look at the storylines again. Um... We need we need another SmackDown storyline, I think. Right. Uh, Cody versus Hikaleo, maybe. Probably won't be the best match in the world, but it will help the storyline. Why can't I find the United? Why can't I find the United States? Oh, I know why. Because is the United States title on Raw? Let's have a look. Where's it gone? That oh, is. Yeah, Cody. Right. Let's have a look at edit title. Raw, that's why. It needs to go over to SmackDown. So I need to send the Intercontinental title over to Raw, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just ignore everyone, right. Why is it not letting me do it now? Ugh. Right, I need to get out of that to go into it again. There we go. So annoying. And then we'll do a code. Let me check the chat. Sorry, I've been yapping up. I've been doing that. Right. Brody wasn't COVID. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Ryan. I must have got it wrong then. Oh, okay. Right, Cody Rhodes, microphone, Paul, he Paul Heyman, microphone, Nicolaia. Uh, right, I think that's it now. I'm going to just start this show.
Oh, it's starting to show. I'll just wait. I'll just catch up with this first. Oh, yeah, he went far away from you, was he, Ryan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, mate. That must have been tough. Um, got 90 rating, even though it had Hikaleo on there. Paul Heyman let the, let the side down. Oh, we got a 91 rating for this match, even though it had Hikaleo in. So that's a testament to the working abilities of Cody Rhodes. So that's good. Bader defeated Oscar, got a 94 rating for that. Uh, the beatdown afterwards only got a 75 rating. Promo with Bianca Belair again, for a match against Io Sky, got a 76 rating. They had a match that had a 90 rating. Io Sky defeated Bianca Belair. Uh, we did an angle with AJ and Andrade, got an 81 rating. And then they had a match that had a 95 rating. AJ Styles won. So there you go. The show increased our popularity in 56. We got a 92 rating, Josh. I've just beaten the record, mate. Yeah, there you go. Ryan, have, uh, do you play TEW by any chance? Are you, are you um, a TEW 2020 player? Or have you just come on here because I'm talk we're talking about wrestling? I don't mind either way. We don't. I, I've always said to people, if you just want to come here and talk about wrestling, that's fine. I don't mind that at all because I can talk about wrestling all day long. Same as Josh. Same as Dave. So yeah, sorry to confuse you, Ryan. So basically, when I'm talking about Josh, Josh is Zona Mister FM on here. Josh is my friend who I've known for many years. And then the rest, that wrestling guy, 97, his name is Dave. So if I say Josh or Dave, there you go. So that's who I'm talking about, just so I don't confuse you. Right. Uh, Carmelo Hayes' contract expires. So we need to get him attached to a new contract. Right, so Kamala Hayes. Selena Vega has an opinion. Uh, I'm liking what I hear from Io Sky. There's money with her. Promos, it giving airtime. So she's telling me that Io Sky is pretty good on the mic. Well, that's good. That helps. Right, let's go next. See what happens now. Oh, wow, you, you're more committed to the save than I am. Um, Josh is really good at writing diaries for TEW. He's done, um, Josh, who's shown a Mr. FM on here on the Twitch chat, he done a really good New Japan diary a few years ago. That's how I know Josh, because I was going to do my own diary, and I kind of just messaged him for help on how to do it, and we've been friends ever since. We've never met in person, but... Um, He's, just, he's, he's a very close friend of mine, so and he's been um, really good support for me on here, so I really appreciate it, Josh. But yeah, so um, no fair play to you. Maybe you should start another one, Ryan. Oh, Maurice's contract's expiring. I better extend it or else the Miz will be unhappy. Right, when's our next show? I don't think it's long now. Right, Raw tomorrow night. I'm probably going to do this Raw show and then maybe one more if, we, if we're doing all right for time. Yeah, four or five years. Three or four years, sorry. That's a big commitment, isn't it? Did you auto book writing or did you, um, did you just book everything? Which female wrestler would you have given the Ring of Honor World title to by any chance? Any Was there any women that you had on the roster that you were thinking of? Well, 
Right, Otis is back from injury. That's good. Good we've got the big guy back. Right, so we're booking Raw now. Backstage incident. Uh, nothing to worry about. Becky Lynch brought a puppy in and it cheered everybody up. So there you go. Right, let me just check my phone for a second. Oh, okay, right. Uh, add match. Oh, um, I don't know. I'll sort it, right. Right, Raw Women's title, there you go. We'll just do a promo now. AJ Lee, microphone, Rhea Ripley, microphone, Becky Lynch, microphone, Sonia, no. You stay away from the microphone, Sonia. And then we do another match. We'll do uh four way tap. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. Yeah, it'd probably be really easy to book Ring of Honor, I reckon. Yeah, New Japan. I've never booked New Japan and I don't ever plan to do it. WWE's bloody bad enough. Yeah, Sarah Dalway, maybe Serena Deeb if you had her, or Athena if they were available. I'd say Athena now, if you were doing it now. Um, she'd be probably the, the, the one to win the... Uh, the Ring of Honor World title. Uh, Gorillas of Destiny. Uh, Imperium, I think. Um, right, let's have a look at the storylines. So we've done something for Raw. We've got Bron and Walter. Uh, Evolution versus Judgment Day. I feel like killing this storyline off, actually. I'm going to end this. Oh, no, no, I'm going to wait for WrestleMania to do that. Right. Here's what we'll do. Six man single. We will have Randy Orton, Damian Priest, Vin Balor, Batista, Ron Breaker, Walter. Uh, we'll have Walter and uh, Ludwig, Giovinci, and then we'll attack Braun Breaker, uh, Selin, that will eat. Right, let me just check the chat because I don't want to think I'm ignoring you all. Oh yeah, Awesome Kong would have been a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, Awesome Kong, definitely. Either her or um, Alpha Female or Camille Brickhouse would be... Camille Brickhouse would probably be the... the you know, Jordine Grace, Jordine, Jordine, Jordine Grace, whatever her name is. Um, she'd be another one that would probably be um, a good one. Just because she's so fucking strong. 
I mean, she looks more intimidating than her boyfriend, Jonathan Gresham. Uh, we've only done 90 minutes. We need to do a bit more. Right. We've got CM Punk. CM Punk. Microphone. Drew McIntyre. Microphone. So that's that. And then we'll do Drew McIntyre. And we'll do another six month match. Why not? Sam Punk. Oh, Drew McIntyre. Chad Gable. Uh, maybe Biggie. Jey Uso. We're not doing well on the heel side, are we? No, not Nakamura. Oh, actually, we'll just put a carder in here. Why is it not letting me? There we go. Seamus. Right, we'll book that. Uh, right, just let me have a quick look at the storylines, everyone. So we've included, we've done all the storylines on Raw, everyone's included. Right then, I'm going to call the show now, I'm going to start it now. Bloody hell, that's quite far back, isn't it? Ryan, you should definitely start a game with Ring of Honor um, now, present day Ring of Honor. Um, do a diary on the... Greyhound, the grey greyhounds, the grey dog software forums. That'd be good. It'll motivate you to play it as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, but then the whole point of him being Ring of Honor is to get it back to how it was before. I, you don't want it to be easy, do you? You want it to be a little bit challenging. So uh, Drew McIntyre defeated CM Punk, um, Chad Gable, Okada, uh, Nakamura, and Sheamus. Got ninety five rating. Uh, we had a hundred. Oh, we finally got a hundred rating, Josh. Angle with CM Punk and Drew McIntyre got a hundred percent. Excellent. Uh, Walter defended his Intercontinental title successfully, managed to beat the others. We did an angle afterwards where Walter and Imperium attacked Bron Breaker. Um, DIY defeated the New Day, Gorillas of Destiny and Imperium got an 82 rating. Uh, Gagano was really off his game apparently. We did an angle with AJ, Rhea Ripley, Becky and Sonya. Got a 76 rating, went, did quite well. And then they had a four way match and um, Rhea Ripley pinned AJ Lee. And that was the main event, not doing well. And we got a 87 rating for that. So we're, we are we are getting quite consistent now. So that's good. Yeah, you probably could do with it as being a separate company and just pretend that they've branched away from AW. Maybe somebody bought it and then it can be a separate company. That's how I would do it. Because if, you're if you're doing with AEW, you're going to have AEW constantly call up your best wrestlers, aren't you? Well, then again, that might be an interesting way to do it. Yeah, TNA. Josh Josh is a big fan of TNA, so you can... Uh, yeah, Hammerstein's a good signer for them. They've got Josh Alexander. Cheers, Josh. Thank you, mate. I do appreciate the praise. Right, Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes has agreed to a new contract with us. When's our next show? So we've got Smackdown in three days. I'm going to do Smackdown. And then I'm going to call it a day, lads, because it's quarter to four now. Will we see more of you on here, Ryan? Are you going to become a, one of the regulars when you get if you get a chance? I know there's a bit of a time difference, so I understand. Uh, yes, but I want to do, I want to do a year, 
with WWE first, and then I'll probably do a save with AEW where I'll do a year, and then I'll do a save with TNA where I'll do a year, and then eventually um, I'll do a save on TW where I'm the smallest known company on in, in America, and then try and see what we can do as a community to get them up to as number one, basically. The long-term save is to get the, the, the lowest one, but um, yeah, just pop in when you can, Ryan. And if you want to chat to me any other time, I'm not, um, my my twit. If you just search for Lucha FM on Twitter, you should find me. I think it's I think it's literally twitter.com forward slash Lucha FM. So you can have me on there. Message me anytime you want if you never need someone to talk to. Um, but yeah, but yeah, just pop in when you can. I always appreciate new people, um, and it's nice chatting to you, especially as you're quite knowledgeable on wrestling as well. Um, Pete Dunn returns. Rio's gone from AEW, so maybe we can try and sign her again now. She only wants to be in the company for nine months. Let's see if we can... There we go. I'm trying to bring in Rio again. Might not work. Otis returns. Yeah, probably. I'll just give it one more try. I thought I'll just seeing if it makes any difference to the fact that she's not with AEW. I mean, in real life, if you if you leave a company, you wanna um, you wanna try and get another job. I've just got a new uh, new subscriber on my uh, my YouTube. That's quite good. Oh yeah, that, um, Ryan, if you wanna follow me on YouTube, um, just search for Lucha FM on there, and all my Twitch replays are on there. So if you ever miss one and you wanna watch it. Um, if you want to watch the Twitch replay, either watch it on Twitch or if you want, um, feel free to follow me on YouTube. But yeah, it's always appreciated. So quite happy with that. Oh my God, free concussions. Oh, Jesus Christ. They, um, Ryan, don't, don't go back to that job. You don't want to be. Uh, that's concussions are not are not. Uh, yeah, concussions are not nice. You do not want to keep getting them. Uh, Rio, you are right, Josh. Rio is ended as being a freelancer. She's not interested in being tied down to a lengthy contract. So shall I try six months? Let's try six months. Worst comes to worst, I'll try three months and I'll just have a job to everybody. She can join the Kabuki Warriors for a bit. Austin Theory's contract's expiring, so I need to extend that. Uh, right, SmackDown's next, I think. Oh no, it'll be after this. I'll have a look at NXT before um, we do SmackDown as well, if I can remember. Yeah, you you Americans, you, you you don't like. I I I think you're the only people I know that's okay with driving four or five hours just to go somewhere. Us English people, we don't like doing that. We moan about driving two hours. I don't know how you do it. Right, Maurice is resigned. Not that it matters that much. Um, yeah, Rio. I'm not going to bother Rio. I can't be bothered. She don't want to come. I'm not. I'm not going to bother offering her a three month contract either. Right, we're on SmackDown. I'll look at NXT afterwards. I completely forgot. So I'm going to book SmackDown as quickly as possible. So yeah, just carry on chatting, lads. Right, SmackDown. AJ Styles this is Andrade. So we could do we could do a tag team mix. Mixed tag team match, maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to do AJ Styles and IO Sky versus Andrade and Bailey. Uh, 
We'll do a promo thing before AJ microphone uh, IO microphone Andrade microphone Bailey microphone uh, We'll do Bianca and Jade. Oscar and Carrie. I just need to do something. Uh, Hold on. Right, book the segment. Um, bear with us. There we go. Right, I need to do something. Right. Need to edit this now. Oh. There, there we go. Sorted. Right, so as we're getting close to WrestleMania, I need to start doing the turn for Jay Cargill. So that's why I've done that. Let me just check the messages. Yeah, I suppose you just fly everywhere in America because it's probably just quicker and easier. Right. Um... Do Jay Cargill beat down of Bianca after the match? Right, what other storylines have I got for SmackDown? So we've done. Andrade and AJ, Bailey and Io, Bianca and Jade. So just the bloodline and no. So I'm gonna do Roman Reigns in a big match, I think. Cause I don't think he's won a match in ages, Roman Reigns, so I need to have him do Roman Reigns versus Rey Mysterio. He's the World Heavyweight Champion, isn't he? I know he's the uh, other one, Universal. Why is it? I know why. Because that is a, for some reason, I'm raw in it. Eh, 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 eh. No. Edit title, there we go. Smack down. Right, get out of that, do it again now. Rome Reigns, Rey Mysterio.
Apparently there's a weight a weight thing on the title. Um gosh, this is the main event. Right, let's put Cody in a match now. Uh wrong thing. Let me just check the chat. Sorry, I feel like I'm being very antisocial. Ah, uh, three hours is nothing to, for you, for you uh, Americans, uh, Ryan. It's like a like a ten minute stroll for you lot. You bloody mad, you crazy people. I couldn't live in America because of all the driving and stuff. It would do me in. Uh, yeah, Cody Rhodes. Right, Cody Rhodes. Uh, we'll do Appa Sakaya. So he's basically beating all the bloodline now at this point. I think. I think he's wrestled and beaten everybody in the bloodline. Uh, right. And then we just need to do a promo. Cody, microphone, Roman Reigns, not rated, Paul Heyman, microphone, buffer. Right, I'm ready to go, everyone. Oh, no, yeah, I need to do one more match. It's only 112 minutes, so I just need to do one more match. We'll do male faces. Uh... Exclude already booked. Sami Zayn, there we go. Sami Zayn versus The Rock? No. Um, Logan Paul, maybe. Jimmy Uso. Yeah, we'll do Jimmy Uso. Oh no, we can't do Jimmy Uso. Bear with us. Austin Fury, we'll do Austin Fury. Right then everyone, I am ready to oh no I ain't. It's only one hour. Oh no, that is right, yeah, that's fine. Right, we'll start the show. I'm just gonna check with everybody first, so well in UK, if you're four hours we could be in a different country in the US and drive. Yeah, that's true. Hello JBR for yes, nice to see you again. Who are you jobbing today? Um, who do you want me to job? No. You, you've missed all the fun. I've booked all the shows. This is the last show before I call it a day. Um, Sammy saying defeated Austin Fury. Got an 86 rating. Did a promo with the Bloodline and Cody. Got an 85 rating. And then Cody defeated Afro Sequoia. Got a 91 rating. Cody Rhodes could have a match with a broomstick and bloody have a 90 rating. He's just amazing. Right, so we did a match where the Kabuki Warriors um, defeated the All-Star team to re regain their tag titles. Um, Jay Cargill turned on Bianca. So I just need to implement this. Got an 85 rating so far. Yep, Jay Cargill's heel turn was a complete success. And then afterwards, um, Jay Cargill beat up J uh, Bianca, but didn't do the angle didn't do very well. Uh, and then we did a promo angle. We got a seventy-eight rating with AJ and Io Sky going a promo with Andrade and Bailey. And then we had a mixed tag match where Andrade and Bailey defeated AJ Styles and Io Sky. A, uh, Andrade, Andrade pinned AJ. Uh, AJ Styles and Io Sky don't work well as a team, so but it got an eighty-four rank, so that's not too bad. And then the main event was Roman Reigns defeating Rey Mysterio with the spear. Rey Mysterio was not eligible to complete for the United States Championship due to the weight restrictions. I need to change that. 
There we go, 88 rating. So that's good. Oh, God's sake, Dave. Ryan, I'm sorry about the, um, Dave's smutty behaviour. It's just a British sense of humour. He's literally like a real-life version of Quagmire, Ryan. You'll get used to him. Oh, I don't know what's happened here. Oh, no. It won't let me close it. Ah. Uh, why won't it let me close it? Can I click on that? No. Can I click on that? No. Ugh. That one? No. Why does this always happen to me? Um, no. Right. Control, Alt, Delete. Taskmaster. Task Manager. <laughs> Taskmaster. Uh, I'm going to have to close this and hope that it was all right. Right. I oh, know, I tried, I tried everything, Josh. Right, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Phew! Uh, right, nothing on the inbox worth telling you about. Shall I bring in Hulk Hogan for one more match? WrestleMania? Oh, no, no. Toxic. No. I won't. He'll have to retire in peace. Right, let me just skip to the next show, but I'm not going to do the next show. I'm just going to see if there's anything worth telling you about before we start. <laughs> no, no. The Taskmaster, uh, Kevin Sullen, definitely can't help me. But yeah, it's been a good stream, everyone. Mondays is always a strong stream. Um, I'll be on tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time. Um, I want to try and get as many as possible following and also joining in the talk. So Ryan, you're always welcome. If you can't do Tuesday, feel free to pop in on Thursday. Did I say Tuesday and Friday? I think I did. Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays I stream. Um, so yeah, stream TW stuff. So yeah, sorry you come in a bit late, GBRS. It's not your fault, mate. Um, but yeah, come if you want to join in, try and join in next time um, from 2 p.m. because it'd be good to get to know you a bit more and you can join in. So yeah, so I appreciate it. But thank you for turning up anyway. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, as always, Josh and Dave. Um, Otis' contract's expiring, so I need to definitely sign him up to a new contract before we go. Right, I'll skip one more day. See if there's any news I'm going to go, but I just want to say thanks to everyone. Um, 2 p.m. as always. Josh? No. Yeah, see you, Dave. See you, Josh. Um, if you want to stay on for another minute while I'm waiting for this to process, it's fine. Um, thank you, as always, you two. Yeah, JBR, um, FreeZ, Bazinga, and also Ryan. Thank you, Ryan, for coming along and joining. Um, let, us, let us know if you decide to do the Ring of Honor show, um, Ring of Honor TW save or TNA. But anyway, on that note, um, let me just check the inbox. Oh, Sarai's broke up with a boyfriend. There you go, Dave. You can join in. Sting's joined. Sting and Jim Ross have joined WWE. Uh, Marina Shafir's contract's expiring with AEW, so we can bring her in to the Four Horsewomen. Right, so that's good. Um... Jack Perry's gone from New Japan of America. 
I thought we could sign him then. We're still with AW. Um, I think that's it, really. Oh, here we go. We uh, WWE finished first out of the two in the American battle. All right, that's that then. I'm going to save this game. I'm definitely going to call it a day now. Right, everyone, I'm off. All the best. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Cheers again. Bye.